What's up guys, it's Y again, back with another Destiny 2 video. Today we're looking at Twilight Gap, this week's Trials map. I just wanted to show a few things and uh, go over a couple of the points of engagement on this map. So here we got a couple of my hunter buddies just jumping around who are going to help me with this demonstration. When both teams spawn, um, there's going to be one spawn point in snow, which is where we just spawned in, and there's going to be another one in backside, directly across from us. Um, if we look here, we can see the enemy pushing up slightly from their spawn point and trying to get an angle on us with the sniper. Um, it's almost like a head glitch spot there, and they will be aiming up for people to jump up on top of this box. The thing is, if you're quick enough, like always, you can beat the enemy sniper to their position and get a pick for your team. Um, one of the other things to keep in mind is this red uh, tarp area here by cranes. A lot of people are going to play from there as well. So always keep an eye out for the red tarp area and look directly across into the other enemy spawn area. Here's an area where you can use your pulse rifle to get an angle if you choose to engage inside. So if the rest of your team is inside and you notice you can get out there and get like a flank, you can get up on that box and get some kills with your pulse. This area underneath here is great for aping with a shotgun, throwing up a grenade into this inside middle area where they will most likely be an engagement 90% of the time you're fighting on this map. Um, they will be watching the enemy team, if they're decent, will know uh, to watch their radar and look for someone coming around, so be wary of that. Here you can see these angles outside, so like, I guess you could say outside middle. From outside middle, we can see clear into the inside middle area there. So if the inside engagement's happening and you, you happen to slide out here, you can get a pick here as well. Um, I actually came across a couple teams that were getting me pretty good with sniping from these angles here. Um, we we're so busy worrying about the close range fight that was going on here in the middle that they are able to pick me off from these locations. We're gonna take a look at that same spot, but from inside middle. And you can play from here too. If you're expecting them to step out into either one of these zones right here, you can get a play. The key is to either get there before them or to like stutter step before you, before you get there to throw them off timing. So here we can see their other, uh, this is A, and this would be um, directly to the right of the spawn in backside. The other cool thing about this map is you can always play underneath. Um, if you see a team that's just staying up on top, not going underneath, or even here if you're looking to get to the heavy, uh, for the heavy round, you can always just kind of pop up and uh, get a pick from one of the angles. There's also different places on the map too where you can kind of come up and surprise the enemy if you see them on the radar and um, the overall movement towards that position makes sense. Um, here's the elevator, you can pop back up and you'll be looking into that inside middle area once again which is the central location on this map and um, like I said before like 90% of my engagements took place here. Here we can see point B which most of the time in trials, you're not going to really have to deal with that area over there unless you're trying to capture a point. Um, you can see these two guys making out. I'm not sure what's going on there. <laughs> um, so here we'll run over to the enemy spawn in this case. So if you spawn on this side of the map, there's a couple of ways to approach that middle section from here. Um, right here, we're going to go and run in directly towards the middle inside, which you really don't want to do that unless you're really sure that you can get the one up on the other team. It's better to actually come out this way and see if they're popping their heads up there in the middle or not. Maybe throw a grenade, maybe get a shatter dive off on them. If you're going to play outside, here's some great angles to keep an eye out for. Um, you can always just kind of shoot from here and hope that they jump up or pop up on the other side there from snow and you'll be able to get some kind of pick or um, even a sniper body and maybe an assist from one of your teammates. Um, so keep this in mind if you're gonna play outside. I prefer to play inside and just kind of being smart about it and throw the timing off of the other team and I think there's way more potential to get kills. 
But that being said, you always want to watch this area here. Um, that area there is huge. Um, this middle outside section here. Because 9 out of 10 times, if you're going inside a lot and you're doing well, the team's going to try to switch it up and um, flank you or get this outside position where you'll be able to um, counter them with a mid to long range weapon. Uh, messenger pulse rifle is great, darkest before, that kind of stuff will work great for those kind of encounters if you don't feel like sniping. Here we can see all the way to the back of the map by snow, but that is a risky spot. Only take that if you know you're going to be able to get up there quick enough and get a kill. So I mean that's pretty much it. Just um, go back and take a look at those points of interest that we mentioned on this map and just be careful where you play. There's only going to be two choices really here. It's going to be that inside middle area and being smart about how you approach it or playing outside with a long range weapon. So let me know if you've got any ideas or any strategies for this map yourself. I'd love to hear them and uh, let me know how I'm doing. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it and I'll catch you next time.